a stupid show filled with stupid questions and stupid people. <laughs> stupid viewers, you're fucking idiots. I'm joined by, I'd say an enigma would be a good way of putting it out there, or at least when I knew him in high school and primary school. Very enigmatic character. Uh, it's certainly difficult to uh, ascribe positive qualities to me. Uh, I think that's what you're you're mentioning. You've got excellent posture. I've always noticed that about you. Like when you're strolled, because you stroll the streets quite a bit, you've always got those shoulders back in the chest. Out. Anyway, this is Alex Green. Uh, my point, if there was one, <laughs> Uh, when the weather lady starts layering, uh, buckle up, cowboy, shit's getting chilly. Stand-up comedian, incredible walker, and well-adjusted everyday guy. Yeah, um, as, as far as character traits go, I think you could do worse. Uh, people have in the past. Oh, I do worse on the regular, it's ridiculous. Uh, well-adjusted is not something I'm described as too often. Okay, well, you've addressed one of those. Um, now, what we have in front of us today are three sweet white wines. Sweet white wines. Sweet white wines. Well, somewhat sweet. So uh, we've got a classic fruity Lexia, essentially. So we've got a goon sack in front of us that I okay. hope that we can identify. And then we've got two German Rieslings, which are known as being some of the finer quality sweet wines in the world of wine making, which we'll obviously identify. Obviously, uh, I'm pretty confident about identifying the goon sack. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So by the process of elimination, uh, surely it's going to be it's going to be walk in the park. Two, yeah, it's two left realistically. So um, we've got the coffee pot, we've got the teapot, and then we've got the Jim Bro protein shaker. Take us any direction you'd like to. Where do you want to start out? You know, I desperately want to plunge the wine for no particular reason. No, no, no. I know uh, how exciting it is. Feel free. I think it's oxidisation. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, we're letting it breathe. I'm just gonna... Yeah, yeah, no, get that on camera. It's, it's just for the idea. people at home, uh, you poor things. French... Pre oh. See, we did it with... The, oh, the bubbles as well. We did it with a red wine last time. It was nowhere near as satisfying. Oh, so it's it's a sparkling wine. If it was uh, if it was, was French, this would be how champagne is made. Absolutely. All right. Sparkling German. Let's get into this instantly. The colour of that it is golden I, like honey. I am using my senses to discern this is a white wine. Uh, <laughs> possibly from the German region. Possibly, or from or a bottle oil. Yes. Mm. Smells interesting. I am not knocked over the head with the flavour. It's uh, I, this is me speaking out of my ass. I have no qualifications to do this whatsoever. If you take my advice, you deserve what you get. But I'm not not bowled over with the flavour. I'm hey, just from the smell. I think that's a great note because neither am I, and I actually know exactly what I'm talking about. If you've ever seen this show before, so it's good to have someone like me backing you up there, Alex. I'm I'm assuming there's context for that sarcasm, but I'm going to ignore it. As promised, that's a sweet white wine. That is very sweet. That's a sweet white wine. I'm thinking pear. Down. Great note, Alex. That does taste exactly like pear. And you said you didn't know anything. I'm I'm pulling stuff out of my mouth. I'm not going to make any. No, you're not. You're pulling that straight out of the ta the taste buds in your mouth because that is a spot on note. My tongue it connects straight to my mouth to your ears. <laughs> that's a guarantee. Lucky you, viewer. Does that strike you as an expensive pear, a mid-range pear, or a cheap pear? Maybe it's my, my lack of culture showing, but I've never had a goon sack that tastes of pear. So I think I'm thinking this is I'm I'm not gonna commit to mid range. There's no no so I think, commit to it not being cheap right now is a good place. Like I don't not the goon sack. I don't think this is is what you give your friends. There's something you keep for yourself. No, no, no. This is yeah. And the goon sack's what you give your enemies actually, so I mean I give one to myself every <laughs> weekend. So what that says about me, I think we all can tell. Mm. That, Look, I, I actually don't have any... Pears just nailed that. Like, that just tastes like pear juice to me. And it's delicious, in my opinion, at least. I'm, I'm quite on board with it. Yeah, the uh, the aftertaste doesn't stay very long. No. So I'm, I'm... Another good note, Alex! What the fuck? This is very this is a very drinkable wine. Uh, perfect for a, a summer afternoon uh, with an old lover you're reconnecting with. <laughs> Specific. That's. I mean, I wouldn't drink it in any other condition. No, uh, no, 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 no. No pressure. Of no. Course, if it's a new lover, tip it down the drain. I mean, just smash the glass over your head. You're done. Yeah, you're being. You ridiculous. don't need this anymore. You're being ridiculous. So we're starting with the coffee, and we've got pear. We don't think it's goon. 
I'm just gonna drink this while while we write. That's oh, absolutely. We need to get rid of it somehow. Do you want to go protein next or teapot next? You know, we'll go teapot next uh, on the condition that you shake the protein shaker because I'm very nervous. I'll shake the protein shaker. I've had bad experiences with them. Yeah, I have. You won't believe this, but very little experience with protein shakers. I am not as ripped as I, I appear to be on camera. It's just the camera. So we're gonna do tea next. Do you want to pour? You we, know what? Hell, why not? We yeah. need to get rid of this. Do you want to tip it out or do you want to drink it? It's up to you. I have had some issues in the past with this teapot, and that's why I'm glad that you're pouring it. Same glass, come on, mate. We're not, oh, running, okay. we're not running a big budget operation here. Okay, so we spend I've, it all on the talent. I've. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so you've had bad experiences with the tea. With the tea pourer. Oh, no, you've nailed it. Yeah, come on the show more often. I came here for the free wine, and I was very glibly going to say this is not the classiest thing. Uh, but considering I was bribed with free wine, I don't think I'm in any position to talk. No, that's so. reasonable. I, look, and we're going to be tasting some goon in a second, so it's hard to have a classy arrangement going on with that sort of thing. Mm. To your health as well, but whatever. Oh, cheers. We already cheers. You can't be cheersing all the time. Cheers. To I, our good health. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. You know what? Mm. I don't have high hopes. Mm. I think we've we've found the skunk in the the toddler room. The Pepe Le Pew of the wines, potentially. Uh, someone's just got a big paintbrush and found a black cat, uh, but it's it's like a child. And they've put it in its eyes. Also, uh, I haven't checked. Did Pepe Le Pew get cancelled for being like racist to French people? I think I think he's more. Uh, we talked about this in the bar because we're obviously uh, very knowledgeable. But I think yeah. he got me tooed. <laughs> Because we're gonna do some research after the show. If we have to beep out the name, and sorry, you don't know who we're talking about unless you're an excellent lip reader. But Warner Bros is gonna be furious. Oh, if they see this video, man, which they will, they're one of our 900 subscribers, I'm sure. I'm sure someone out there is a Warner Bros executive mm. uh, in his big lonely mansion drinking goon sacks. Thinking, am I in the right doing this? And we just trash Pepe Le Pew. Copyright strike us right now. All right, it smells like that. Um, Acidic is mm, what I'm getting. The, yep. the pear was smooth, but this is... I'm not sure if that's the pear coming through. Uh, this is not a high budget show anymore. We don't have glassware people on site, no. We just use the same glasses. But um, I don't know if that's going. Do you think it's going? I, I'm, I'm getting, not trying to lead the witness here. I'm getting more acidity. There is more acidity. I'm gonna, I'm, on your good faith, I'm going to drink some more wine. Yeah, go for it. Go uh, for it. So. It's definitely like if we look to if you look at that next to the coffee plunger, like this definitely has a lot more like of a golden character. This is a bit more like less rich. Do you see that? Okay. Like that almost looks like pear juice to me, like genuine pear juice. Whereas this kind of looks like piss. Eloquent. Is that, <laughs> yeah. We're a high we're a, yeah we're a high class uh, show here. I mean, I definitely enjoyed uh, the coffee plunger one more. Uh, yep. This one is. Almost overpowering with the acidity. Yep. Yeah. I think no. it's it's the main component. Acidic. Acidic. Uh, Warner Bros hates it. Uh, Pepe Le Pew sex pest question mark. <laughs> Just gonna write that down. <laughs> Do you want to drink the rest of that? I will out of principle. Mm. Not because I enjoy it, but uh, because it's a Monday. And to our mundane health. Oh my God, it's just a shot now. Yuck. Let's aerate the fuck out of this thing. Get rid of this gun. Oh, okay. good. I don't know if you know this, but I actually work in a cocktail bar occasionally. That's why you get this nice wrist Oh, it's leaking. Okay. Oh, no, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, see, so I feel oh. vindicated. No, no, absolute vindication. I'm just going to use my tote bag to clean this up. Tote bag, yes, I am quite progressive. This now has a head on it, which is something that you'll always want when you're tasting an expensive German Riesling. Yeah, they just put it in taps. Uh, <laughs> in a lot of bars. Oh. Thank you. Bang bang. Now, if it smells like vanilla whey protein, that's probably not the wine. Uh, not to not to bandy the word scientific around, but this is not that. No, it is not. Okay. No, this is. I've done my own research on Facebook, and now I know the science level of science. See, maybe it's because you said the word vanilla, but I'm just hunting for it, and it's <laughs> just tonguing for some vanilla in this wine. So you think it smells like vanilla? You know what? I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna have a another take, but mm. it's actually a double bluff because I'm a choc mint protein guy. So unless you're getting choc mint from that, then there's just vanilla in this wine, dude. For the oddest reason, this reminds me of a candy I got when I was eight years old. 
Like a very specific. Are you getting like, you know that moment in Ratatouille where the like big mean restaurant viewer tastes the Ratatouille and it's just like, <laughs> and it goes back to his childhood? Is that what you're getting from this right now? Yeah, I mean, it's like a lateral shift. I'm not a better person for it. <laughs> but <laughs> it's not character development. It's not character, but it is just something that happened to me and we forget about. But <laughs> it had like, like little toys in it. We're back in sweet territory for sure though. Hear me out. Oh, I always will. Peach. Flip the desk. It's Peach. I think you might be right. I've solved it. It's definitely... I've solved wine. So the question is, peaches, pears, or acid, what's more expensive? Okay. I don't know if I've I've, I've... I've never done acid, but like I've heard it's not as cheap as stone fruit or pears. I have found a tab of acid in a pear once. <laughs> uh, after the fact, of course. That uh, big... That big uh, it was like when people were putting needles in strawberries, that whole pandemic where people were just putting acid tabs in pears. Every Halloween, people just give away drugs and candy. And if Before, you go to enough houses, sooner or later, statistically, you're bound to. You're bound to. Don't do drugs, kids. Um, so... <laughs> no, no, no. Keep your eyebrows down. Stone fruit. I, do, I really like that note. I think you're absolutely right. So, peachy... What are you thinking about in terms of price points? Because now we've tasted all three, so we've got some idea of what things are doing. Okay. I've got an idea, but I don't want to lead the witness, so I'm going to let you just take the floor here for a moment. It's it's tempting to insist on another two or three all two. Um, the acidic one, definitely, I, I wouldn't pay money for unless I was desperate, which I usually am, so let's not get into that. But I'm going to be shocked if that's not the goon. Because if that's not the $5 yeah. one, and one of these is like 30, uh, 15 bucks for three litres, yeah. that's a win in my books. I mean, this one is worth off-camera status. Oh, okay, so, yeah. So, I cannot insist upon... That's a palate cleanser. I'm going to put tea at the bottom. Is that what you're saying? Are you saying that that's cheap, or are you saying that it's terrible? If it's not cheap, uh, capitalism is a sham, and we should be rioting. Cool. That's a call to action. That's a call to action, if Don't, it's not cheap. If you like and subscribe, go fuck yourself. This is right in the streets. Please do like and subscribe, though. Um, what are you thinking out of these two being the more or less expensive? This one is a lot more subtle. I definitely like this one the most. It's the most flavorful. Yeah, but like, vodka cruises are also very flavorful. They're not like highbrow drinks, are they? I think it's mostly the sugar. That's... And but this is very sweet. And sugar isn't that expensive. I have it in my house and I am not very well off. Dude, Pears is absolutely right on that. You fucking hit the nail on the head. I think... Just purely based on personal preference, this is middle of the shelf. Middle of the shelf. Uh, and it's not bad, but it's not as flavorful as... Cool. Coffee. So locking in your final answer, we've got most expensive, middle of the road, least expensive. That's my final call. Okay. I think that we should reveal this one first. This is gonna be... You're just gonna slap me in the face, aren't you? Oh, I'm gonna slap myself in the face because I think this is Goon as well. So, like, in no okay. way do I... I agree with what you're saying. I, this is the order that I would put them in as well. I'm okay. glad that you've come to that conclusion because we can be wrong or right together. Also, you are playing for the privileged right to wear the crown that makes you the king of wine tastings COVID's... if you get them right. Don't touch it yet. You haven't earned it. I was gonna show the camera. We Jeez. can put it... Yeah, but... Like... Okay. If you don't just roll, if they showed you the crown jewels, you wouldn't just be like, oh, let's have a look at them. This is the same level of thing. If man. they showed don't... me the crown jewels behind a protein shaker of wine, I'd say, hey, just shove over a bit. Absolute kick ons with Queen Lizzie one night. Um, she's done acid. <laughs> she's done acid. She, you can't live that long can't live without, that long without having acid. immunized yourself against some sort of psychological stress. You can't wait for the royal family to arrange for us to be in a. Parisian limousine and going under a tunnel after the comments we've just made about that. Yeah, that or the Warner Bros get us first. Yeah, who's gonna Pepe get Le Pew and Prince Andrew are gunning for us, so if we disappear, <laughs> you know what's happened. Tell the people, Lockie. <laughs> I wasn't sure where this was gonna go with you, but I'm really glad it's gotten there. I'm, I'm just enjoying it. Fantastic. Alright, for the first time, let's do the tea. The tea that is obviously goon. If this isn't goon, then something's gone wrong. What have we got, Lock? I'm on the verge of violence. That's not a good sack. <laughs> that is not... Wow. Okay. That is $32 a bottle. And... $32 a bottle? Yeah. Now, if the good people from... Ready for me to not be able to pronounce a German name... I'm looking forward to it. ...from Kalstadze Riesling, the 2020 version, if you wanted to drink this, you'd be welcome to at my house because I don't need to. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a guest wine. You know what's interesting? 
I mean, that's one of these is very cheap. I was gonna say that they've clearly put the price on this one. Uh, so you know it's $32, so you couldn't complain in a non-blind taste testing. But yes, one of these is a bargain. One of these is the bargain, which honestly, this is why we're here. We're not here to make you look good. We're here to give consumer advice and say like, go buy this really cheap wine that tastes like peaches or pears. Uh, we'll go to the middle of the road one next. Oh, it's, not, right, it's yeah. not, this is the middle of the road one, but like we'll go what we thought was the middle of the road next. Let's build up. Oh, if the best one is Goon, I'm gonna... Be thrilled. What are you talking about? That's good consumer advice. I... Taking the taking the capitalism out of it. It's just about wine for the people. That's the name of the channel, Alex. A very small, petty person might need to think that people respect my opinion. And this is... We're not here for validation. We're here for content. Cancel me. Middle of the road. What do we got? All right, Peppy. Uh, what have we got? What was that? That was the goon sack, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. The classic fruity white from Winesmiths. Uh, well done. Well done, Winesmiths. Um, dude, laughing. Like if you're if you're trying to if you're trying to drink some white wine with your friends, drink that. This is so drink. It's not. It doesn't even register as alcoholic. Which yeah. is There's not that bite there. And of course, this is multi-award winning. 43 accolades. 43 accolades. Uh, so clearly, this is 44. 44, ex congratulations Winesmiths on your 44th acc accolade for your classic fruity white. You know what that In means though? That one. You know what that means though? We're, we're really good at knowing what expensive booze tastes like because this has to be the expensive bottle now by the process of elimination. I mean, congratulations us. Congratulations us. So if you want to drink pears, you got to spend the money, and this is a lovely German Riesling, uh, well in a Sonnenhör Riesling Spatel S, is I believe how you pronounce that in the native tongue. Wasn't paying attention, could you just one more time? Okay, uh, that was Huelner Sonnenhör Riesling Spatel S. Bit of French in there, but that's okay. Yeah, all songs. Um, so basically, German Riesling is known as sort of like, if you're going to have a sweet wine, German Riesling is like the pinnacle of sweet wine in the sense that it's not... All right. It's not... If someone who knows what they're doing tastes that, they'll know it's goon. But if you don't know what you're doing... If you don't know what you're doing, sorry. Not that dissimilar. I mean... Uh, what are the takeaways from the episode? What would you say? Uh, you know what? Stop judging me when I buy wine in boxes. Absolutely. Yep. Fascists. Yeah. It's easier to transport, less likely to break, uh, goes really well in the fridge, keeps a longer time. I We're not getting paid for this by wine since, by the way. This is just off the dome. Uh, this is very tasty, though, so, like, well done to the expensive boy as well. Uh, middle of the road, unfortunately, okay. you've just made a... Uh, I'm just putting him away. Yeah, what you've done is made the... No one loves him. ...the Nissan Micra, which is a lovely car, but do you really want it? A Mazda 323, that's where you get your money's worth. Mazda, 3, Mazda 323, and then this is just like an expensive French saloon or something. It's, it's a nice Peugeot 508. Lovely car, look it up. Uh, yeah. Alex, thank you so much for coming on the show. Have oh, you got you. anything you'd like to plug at all? Um, you know what? Uh, Adelaide has a lot of open mic stuff going on. Uh, I occasionally uh, disgrace myself at them. If you would like to see me make a fool of myself in any more capacity, uh, if it was possible, uh, yeah, show up. Uh, Crank a comedy on Tuesdays, oh, Rhino so Room fun. on Mons Mondays. It's, yeah, fantastic time. Well, cheers to our poor health. Aye, um, we deserve this.